A little village in Cheshire called Rembry Cum Frith have renamed their village Rembry Cum Pothole after the local council failed to fix a whopping 174 potholes in a single road. If you are watching, you'll be able to see some of the footage. I mean, it looks like a third world country, really in the middle of the jungle or something. But no, this is literally a road in Cheshire in the UK. Joining me right now to discuss this is Mark Morell. He's a pothole campaigner and known as Mr Pothole. Hello to you. Thanks for joining us, Mark. Now, good morning, Julia. Oh, look, we've all got potholes in our streets. I'm st always stunned by the number. I live in central London, the number of streets in our capital, the you know, main streets that are covered in potholes. But it's even worse, actually, for a lot of people in rural areas where these things just stay for ages and they are really dangerous. But that, that street, I mean, 174 in one street. Yeah, I mean, appalling. Uh, but I'm afraid that could be uh, the future for our road network because of the way our roads are declining. I tweeted this morning, tagged you in, based upon the extra money that government announced from HS2, the uh, £8.3 billion, it would take 500, over 500 years to resurface all of our roads. Yeah, not going to happen, is it? And things, oh, th th you know, this problem started, you know, about five years ago, and then that wasn't filled, and that wasn't filled. And you know, you, uh, they're, they're very dangerous for cars. We know huge damage to cars, also for cyclists, of course, and uh, and for every road user. Um, but why has the local council not fixed these in this case? I mean, is, is it just a sort of oh well, people are used to it now. It's too big a problem. We can't we can't deal with it. Well, I think possibly you could be right. I mean, a lot of the councils are now saying they're. Uh, carrying out a managed decline of the roads because they haven't got the uh, resources to uh, maintain our roads to an adequate uh, standard, which is not acceptable. No, exactly. I mean, there was a report done in year uh, 2010 by YouGov saying that badly maintained roads were costing the UK economy £5 billion a year. Yeah. Well, now we're uh, obviously a number of years on and increased cost of everything is probably about £10 billion. Yeah, exactly. I've been saying the government and, and they've they all got be, worse. Re but normally, like in built-up areas, often the issue is, um, you know, the, the local, you know, gas company or water companies come along, they've dug up, they've done a really bad repair job, left it too long, and then you end up with all these bits of holes. But like, that wouldn't be the case for a rural road like that. I mean, just looking at the footage, genuinely, I've done like a lot of, you know, travelling in the developed world. I remember, I remember a road in Cambodia it looked just like that. That was Cambodia. It was a country that had come out of, you know, dire circumstances. We're supposed to be a first world country. It's in embarrassing that our roads look like that and we don't even have much extreme weather it's not like you know we're, we're living with you know you know i don't know 50 degree temperatures or or minus temperatures i know everyone goes on about climate change but we don't live in much mass extremes there's no excuse for this is there no it just needs a long-term investment plan to manage the network as an asset I mean, at the end of the day, it's like the blood supply to UK economy. It's been ignored, uh, ignored and, and uh, neglected. Um, election time this year, um, yeah. you can't hide the state of your roads. And uh, work for, rather than a local newspaper article about the odd pothole that used to happen, you know, five, ten years ago, now it's become a national uh, embarrassment. We're rated 37th in the world for a G7 nation in the quality of our roads. Yeah, that is embarrassing. You're quite right. Thank you very much indeed, Mark Morell, a.k.a. Mr Pothole. This is the thing, bringing this back to Philip Ingram in the studio. You know, we are a first world nation. Mm -hmm. This is really basic stuff, given where we're going. And the economic, I mean, look, there's a, there's a safety aspect to this, there's a discomfort, you know, but there is a massive impact on our economy. People can't move around quickly, you transport goods. You can transport as much as you want on the rails. Everything ultimately ends up on a lorry. Yes, <laughs> and your Cheshire East local authority, uh, a coalition of Labour and independent controlling oh, that's that why local, it's going lo so well. local authority. I wouldn't trust the Tories to do a better job either. No, no I, I wouldn't you. either, but leading to sort of Wembley come suspension failure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. But there, people have access. I mean, cyclists die as a result yep. of these sort of potholes. But it is an ongoing issue. Is this like a general ongoing funding issue? So, you know, we know local councils have less and less money. It's one of their responsibilities. Uh, but they've got less and less money. They've got massive increase in social care costs, massive increase in, in uh, taking children into care. So there are stuff that, yeah, I'm sorry, those things are a higher priority for, for councils. But they also, I don't know any council that doesn't waste a load of money. I don't know anyone who couldn't go into a local council and go, you don't need to be spending that, that or that or that. You silly project here, painting a, I don't know, a crossing with rainbow colours or whatever nonsense they're doing. You should be prioritising, you know, collecting the bins. I'm obsessed with bins. You know, collect the bins, fill the roads, you know, the holes, keep the street lights on. Do the basic stuff. Yeah, and you know, the, the traffic volumes are going through the roof, and that's what's yep. putting extra wear and tear on the roads. And, but, but... and, and green vehicles, them SUVs are bigger, 
and electric vehicles are, are, are way heavier and they cause more damage as well. Yeah.